No, it ain't. We got him. That ain't cut bait. That ain't tiny either. That's the right kind. He was hauling the male. Big old head shakes, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I like that a lot. River Rats, we are surrounded by tubers, jet skiers, and we're uh, putting our boat in in this mucky, marshy harbor thingy. We're gonna try to get something to eat, try to camp out, and try to catch some big fish. So let's go. I zoned out as we were trying to exit the, the marsh. Yeah. Probably, I suppose the extra weight up front probably isn't helping anything. We're doing all right. I feel like the tubers and such are thinning out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I had agree. Oh, muck. Nope. We drove around a whole bunch and looked at a whole bunch of stuff and I think we found, plan. we made plan, we have a plan. Uh -oh. I believe in you, Ryan. That mud line is neat. Now we're There's probably walleyes on that mud line. Walleyes love, water. I mean, they love mud lines. They got to be walleyes there. Scientific fact. Yeah. Want to run to our sandbar and drop a few things off before we head down river? Yeah. Or do you want to cook? You want to bring the cooking stuff and cook steaks on love, a cast iron? Might as well have lines in the water while we cook. Okay, fine. If you if you want to push me on it, I guess. I mean, I don't eat very much. <laughs> I mean, I hate being efficient and stuff. Right. Is that, you said efficient. <laughs> See what I did there? I did. <laughs> I liked it. This is camp. The current's like, or the wind's like, we're going. Yep. Oh no, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that we had a runaway. All right, let's go. I forgot the plan, that the plan was to come back for camping stuff and started grabbing camping start stuff. stuff I, start putting in the boat, so. no, I got a burner and, and a cast iron. This oh. is campfire grill. campfire grill. We can do that later if we want. Can't have a campfire in the boat. We'll figure something out. We got fuel. Give me fuel in the bag. Is that it? I think so. See ya, have a nice night. Enjoy your camp out. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me flatheads. All right, let's get going. Scouts on. That looks like a smallmouth. Drove, looked a little bit, found some fish. Scott catches them. It's a good time. You know, after doing mostly nothing but catfishing for the past so many months, this six pound line feels like like floss. Yeah, right. Silk. That's not a bad one. Fish. Goodbye. Just throwing dinner back. <laughs> What's that? Throwing dinner back? <laughs> Be sweet to just catch a 18 inch walleye immediately. Scott's got dinner or stick? It's pulling. So did the stick, I thought. This one's wiggling though. Oh, that might be Din. <laughs> I'll eat him. I don't know what this line is, so. uh, Actually, that's exactly what I thought on that car. Uh, <laughs> Didn't take as long as you did. <laughs> oh, look, there's a conveniently located stringer right here. <laughs> Do you have half the space for a <laughs> The bummer part about these guys, not much meat on them. 
Catch me another one, will you? I was just gonna say let's move, but if the drum bites hot, you know. <laughs> so Ryan, you wanna hit that log? All of them. All of them? Well you seem to to seem to be a fan of those logs. There ain't no current though, it makes me feel like it's turtle country, but you love turtles, so. Yeah. There's a log to tie off to on the front side though. Yeah. Like it was destiny. Okay. What's up? Gonna whip it around, come back I'm, up. I'm gonna try to do that without blowing them out or blowing water in their face. Might be one of those, just grab it and then I'll back off of it a little. Oh, there's a rope hanging off of it. Might have to double her up because of the wind. Can you catch us a drum or what? Try. Good. One more other way. All right. Catfishing time. This is the log. Dude. I don't think this is the juice. I think that Ryan's right. I think the next one's the juice, but there could be a fish here. Watch. We'll hook the five pound channel on the big rod and the 35 pound flathead on the little rod. And be happy about it. Yeah, you're right. Can I have a stinker? What do you want? Uh, let's go a three, or three or four. Whatever you see first. Thank you. What's the odds you think there's a flathead here? 42%. What's the odds he's gonna eat? Mm, about 12. Okay, I can get on board with that. How big you think he is? 38. Ooh, that I'm not so sure about. Yeah, that was about three foot deep. Yeah. Did you get slurped? He did. Pull him down. He's running off to the side with him. That's weird. We have a gar? It's gotta be a gar. <laughs> He's read many feet with him. He's gonna be at the boat here for too long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he drug me into a, a log. What a jerk. Okay, I got it back. Two feet marks. Oh, he got crunched. Does that look like a turtle beak right there? Yeah, probably. Just yeah. pinched right there. Could be northern here too, don't forget. Oh yeah, we are in the northern country. It's a unique new adversary. <laughs> More cut bait. <laughs> Not caught a fish on a blue reel yet. No? Nope. Be fun to change that. Try not to get excited about our campsite because I don't want to get left down or let down, but I kind of feel okay about it. I want to it. eat a steak, take a nap, and whatever happens, happens. Well, let's go back and grab our stuff out of the truck and do just that. Get camp set up. I don't know about you guys, but it's about steak time. Yes, sir. I don't buy steaks very often. By very often, I mean like once every three years someday i'll be financially stable enough to buy steaks more than once every three years but we just buy a quarter cow that's the smart way of doing it can you get her over there yeah it would oh what you got over there bud Oh, you got a sucker on there. You got a sucker on there. I'm gonna walk him out. I thought you caught a fit. I thought you caught a fish. <laughs> I was like, is that a little walleye? <laughs> uh, getting loopy. Need some food in my life. We got fire. That's the easy part. She's hot already.
Hope you guys don't mind unseasoned steaks. Well, that's good. Anybody want something other than medium rare? No. Okay. My mouth's watering already. <laughs> that one's probably done. Like I said, no seasoning, but you know, just being outdoors is kind of seasoning. Steaks are done skis. A little more grease, and the fish will be done skis. Sorry, guys, I didn't wait for you guys to eat half my steak. A little salt and pepper would have went a long ways, but it's very edible. No. Yeah, don't leave a review on Yelp, please. I'm going to eat my steak like a caveman. And it's pretty much rare like a caveman. Here you go, Scott. Thank you, sir. Mm hmm. Awesome. And dessert's on the way. Dessert's going to be good. Find any firewood? A little bit. A little bit. It's definitely done. Probably done. Definitely done. Yeah, if only. If only we would have butchered some smallmouth. Maybe next time. Don't be bashful about the drum. It's, it's good. Food time's over, fire time started. Where to put it? Uh, the wind's going this direction, so yeah, probably right there. Get her started. I am the guy with the fire starters, so it makes sense that, yeah, well, you get it. Chin. I got sticks over it. Well, fire's going. There we go. We're gonna have fire. Just wish wish we had more fuel. Right. Oh, I heard a zip. I don't know. Right mine? Dark one. That'd be mine. What's up? Uh, that was a channel rat for sure. Well, at least we had action. Got him. Not a. I mean, he's in current. Man, he just yeah, he took off. All right, no big run, but it's not a tiny one. Stuff out of the way, yeah, we'll see how I can finagle it. <laughs> He's 172 feet out, so we got a minute. <laughs> he ran for a while. Yeah, yeah. Fire up the, the oil again? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he's shrinking <laughs> and now that he's out of the current. Terrible fish need love too. Yeah, I reckon. Now I'm gonna horse him to get him out of everything. Yeah. Did I do it? Well, he's not tiny, tiny. No. All right, got him. Thanks for the net job, bud. No problem. I really want to do anything else. <laughs> It's kind of, it's kind of sad looking. He's got a big head. Yeah, skinny body. Kind of feel bad for him. How bad? Like put him out of his misery, Dad. I mean, <laughs> I'd eat him. I feel that bad. Are you hungry? I mean, I 
I could eat. I could eat. <laughs> Ain't bad, bud. <laughs> he's a jerk because he's a channel cat. Um, are we gonna? We are you gonna clean him? Yeah. All right. It's uh -huh. decided. No, no going back now. No. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't bad though. No, he's not. And he was, he bit the right rod, so he's actually fun to fight. Yeah, that was a good time. But he's Ryan's dinner. He was on the run. <laughs> uh, How do you like the light right in your face? It's, it's whatever Great. at this point in time. <laughs> he's gonna be dinner for Ryan. I might, I might eat a piece. Sample. Yeah. A little sample. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. I'm gonna let it bleed out. Perfect. I'm gonna put another chunk of sucker out. That fish is getting fried. And Ryan's got one. Comparable. His buddy? Oh, he's fitting in. In fact, he looks almost identical. <laughs> not as golden as the other one. No. <laughs> not at this moment, but he could be. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I was out in the current, so I left it locked in. Minor detail until a fish bites it. Yeah. Well, hold them up for the camera. And your face is blocked out, but <laughs> makes you look <laughs> that's better. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, right. you uh, mess with him. I'm going to get back to the, the golden fish. All right. I'll toss him back. Is this the last round? Uh, no, I Okay. These won't be bad. Good things will hopefully continue happening. No, it ain't. Got him. That ain't cut bait. That ain't tiny either. That's the right kind. He was hauling the mail. Big old head shakes, buddy. Yep. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> you mean to take this over you? Oh. I don't know. Um, I mean, he's under. Yep. Man, he just head shaking and head shaking and hell yeah, still head shaking. And... I thought it was cut bait for a second, but these wow. are newer reels. Nope, he's under it. I mean, if this is a channel, it's huge. <laughs> that 44 was the record. What oh, there he is. Flat. That's a brown one. Painter. That was nice. Got my heart thumping. <laughs> Hell yes. Thank you. This flying spot. <laughs> <laughs> Only like 9.30 too. Nice corner of the mouth, popped right out. Yep, good thing I kept the line tight or he would not be here right now. That was nice. I liked it a lot. It's been a minute since I held one of these guys. It's been a really crappy year flyhead fishing and I apologize because I apparently suck at flyhead fishing, but I don't at this moment, and it's awesome, so <laughs> I'm going to soak it up. Uh, this one does not get released in the grease. I'm going to let him go. He's not too far off, but... Uh, grease is currently cooling. Yeah, right. grease is not hot anymore, so he gets released. All right, bud. Au revoir. No splash? The Wisconsin flatheads have manners. They're soft. They <laughs> <laughs> some soft suckers. That makes my day. Oh, that's mine? Yeah. Oh. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. <laughs> he's not... My pleasure. Oh, he's... He's not terrible. Ugh. Uh, no, we're... He's clear across the spread. Oops. Uh, might be a flyhead, bud. 
I'm not saying 100 percent. I like that. That was cut bait. Uh, yep, sure was. Oh, there's some drag and such. More drag. He's sliding over the top. I think. I hope. Hopefully he's not tangling and stuff. Yeah, I was zoning. <laughs> yeah, he's up on top. It's white. Big white mouth. Hopefully. Hopefully. Stay out of our lines, buddy. Uh, kind of wants to go in that one. Ooh, get away from there. Uh, oh, you butthole. Sorry. Not you. Oh. <laughs> he is fork tail. Oh. Wow. He was in the net. He got the power. <laughs> yeah. And speed. Nice. He was 100% in that net. <laughs> he was. And then he was gone. He might be over 10. He might be. I do have scale. I don't care that much, but I like him. I'm glad he hit this rod because he was fun. I'll take him now. As you can tell, I was definitely. Oh! Think about taking a nap. Still kind of. Still very much thinking about taking a nap, but that's a welcome interruption. And he gets a free ride because his, his buddy who bit earlier <laughs> became second dinner. Usually I'm the second dinner guy, but tonight Ryan was the second dinner guy. It was kind of weird. A lot of weird things happening. <laughs> See ya. All right, now I'm gonna go to bed. Going past his buddy's tail. Yeah. <laughs> Night, everyone. <laughs> okay. We got one. What's up? Take over. <laughs> oh, it's on mine. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on up. I was. Snoozing. He's running at us. Oh no. He's in it. He's in it. Going up. He dove right for it, even. Oh. He about just ripped me in the water right there. That was kind of exciting. Thank you. That was wonderful. Hey, it is a brown one. You weren't a liar. Sweet. That's behind me. What's that? That's behind me. Oh, oh he ain't even. He ain't even bad. Let me bring him to you. You about like the last one. Yeah. Maybe be a little bigger. Might be wishful thinking. Whatever. Yeah. You know. The whole time I was getting up, I was thinking you were fighting him. And then you're like, hey, take this, are you ready for this rod? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, just waiting on you, buddy. I'm like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Thanks, bud. No problem. I appreciate Ryan taking the time to wake up and, and hooking this fella. This turned into a pretty good little evening. I woke up expecting to watch Ryan reeling and fish, and he handed me some rod. He's like, you ready? I'm thinking, maybe. <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> but he's here, so I guess I was ready. I'm going to let him go, and I'm going to go back to snooze, and hopefully I do wake up and watch Ryan reel one in. Hey, bud. See ya. Off he goes. I'll take another sucker. All right, what's going on? He's not very big, but it's good. Hey. I guess I'll uh, play around now. Oh, 
I was asleep asleep. Yeah. It's like over and under. like so many things happening. There he comes. Jumbo. Mm -hmm. That's a doozy. They make channels big here, huh? Mm hmm Well, get them back and call her good. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. It's not what I had in mind. No. Fish seven. Oh, something like that. We're going to release you very lively and yeah. fresh. Not so much meat. You need to do that. Yeah. yeah you'll be lively and fresh. Mm -hmm. Ryan, how many catfish did you, you catch last night? Seven or eight. Yeah. It's kind of fuzzy. Then he had one that tangled all my lines up because yeah. he... Uh, got owned by a three pound channel cat but you know whatever <laughs> i'm only half awake that's that's just the story i heard <laughs> allegedly we uh we're gonna get this stuff picked up and whatnot maybe catch us a breakfast walleye and i don't know but that was fun it was nice hadn't caught any flyheads for a while and super nice change of pace and maybe i'll do it again someday who knows but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit li the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.